Several businesses are joining together to celebrate everything Broadway in Fort Wayne has to offer. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us from Broadway with more. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Sarah. I'm at a spot that's kind of near and dear to my heart. I'm along Broadway near Jefferson, the downtown area of Fort Wayne. Several of these businesses behind me are taking part in the Broadway street stroll happening today. The stroll will showcase the art, food, drinks, and shops that call Broadway home. The event will include live music and special sales and deals. It's all being done to bring awareness and support to these businesses, as well as artists and musicians in our community. It's all happening from 1 to 5 this afternoon. If you're looking for the live music, tickets are $5 at the spots where the bands will be playing. The businesses taking part in the street stroll include Fancy and Staple, The Phoenix, The Brass Rail, and Terry Ratliff Fine Art. All of those are in the area where I'm at right now. If you head south of the old GE campus, you'll find music and deals at Tech Venture, Mad Anthony Brewing, The Fillmore, and Trouble Brewing. I'll be back in a little bit from a different spot on Broadway. We'll head south of the GE campus that I just mentioned. We'll talk to somebody who has kind of an insider's look of the big event and find out what it means to the community. News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us again with more from today on Broadway's Street Stroll. Hey, Chris. good morning, Sarah. I'm in a different spot on Broadway. Right now, I'm by the Fillmore on Broadway. That's just south of Creighton. Joining me now to talk more about Broadway Street Stroll is Mandy Kolkman. Thanks for joining us. Kind of talk about your role in this big event today. Sure. So I came up with the idea for the Broadway Street Stroll, and I am the co-coordinator of the event along with Brent Drake with Soiree. And um, we put together 11 different bands this afternoon, nine different venues, and several art vendors for the Broadway Street Stroll. Why is something important like this for the community? This is like a first time for this event, right? It is. This is a first year event, and we're trying it out because uh, with several new businesses going into Broadway Street, such as Fancy and Staple and Trouble Brewing, we thought that it was a really good opportunity to showcase those new buildings as well as the other businesses that have been here for quite some time on Broadway and just show everybody what Broadway Street has to offer. There's a lot as far as stores and restaurants, event centers. Talk about what some of the highlights are today. Sure. Well, we also have an art gallery uh, a little bit closer to where Broadway Street and Jefferson meet, and uh, that's Terry Ratliff Fine Art. That is actually one of the locations today that's even free, so I would really encourage everybody to check it out. Trouble Brewing just launched their six new beers, and then Matt Anthony Brewery just redid their facility. So if you go in this afternoon for the Broadway Street Stroll, then you have the opportunity to check out those new facilities on an exclusive tour that they have not yet opened to the public. It's kind of a good way to explore a, a big corridor here in Fort Wayne. It has a lot of history. What should people know if they're coming down here to experience this? When, when are you open? What kind of information should they know? Sure. The event is from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's today, Sunday, July 3rd. We have plenty of parking. Several of the locations actually have their own parking lot. There is also street parking available. If you're not feeling up to the stroll, which is um, a little bit longer than a mile, we do have community transportation network buses traveling the route up and down for people to board and get off. We also have the opportunity to rent bikes from Fort Wayne Outfitters. And um, it looks like it's going to be a nice day, not too hot. So if you want to take a walk, I highly encourage it. Not too hot, not too much rain, not really too many excuses to use not to come out and explore Broadway. Thank you for being here. Good luck today. For now, reporting live on Broadway in Fort Wayne, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.